We're gonna take it slow. First snow in the boot, 2023, bro. Woo! Make sure it's a safe spot, so to speak, before I really put my weight on it. Boy, does this suck. Brand new Every shade of green and blue And it's all because of you I'm seeing everything You make me want to celebrate Sterling Pass. Like a picture that I've painted in my wildest dreams. Came to life in every feeling that you gave to me. Howdy, folks. My name is Eric. Jordan. And this is North American Adventures. Thanks for clicking the video. You join us again in Red Rock Territory. This time we were a bit north of Sedona about six miles on 89A. You saw a very small pullout for this hike, the Sterling Pass, very unknown to tourists. So if you're looking for a more wilderness style hike, this one is for you. It goes very high up, about a thousand feet, up to Sterling Pass very quickly in about 1.5 miles, and then down to the Volte Arch in about one mile. And then you gotta come all the way back up and come all the way back down. So it's one of those, but it's gorgeous. We've been here before actually in October last time, so it was gorgeous with the fall colors. Let's get going. Like a picture that I've painted in my wildest dreams came to life in every feeling that our first sign of snow. We heard in the reviews that the backside heading back down from the pass has several feet of snow, so we may be breaking through a bit today, but we will see as we go along. So far, weather's gorgeous. Probably only like 60 or so, but the sun is nice and warm. A little bit of a cool breeze coming through the canyon here. We're loving it. We've only gone about 0.8 miles here, but you can see the snow is already starting to pile up. It is nice and wet from the sun, of course, so we just smash right through it at the moment. We have about 0.7 left to go, about seven, 800 feet to Angel Pass up this way and then cutting up in that direction. So let's keep at it. So it's called Sterling Pass. Oh, what did I say? Angel Pass. <sighs> As you can see, it's very overgrown as well, more so than we recall from our last adventure here. I don't know that this trail gets much maintenance at all, since it doesn't even have a real trailhead. Stand in the test of time Two hearts run free We're never looking back This love, this love was made to last Just clearing the way a little. But take our time to breathe it in. Every flower slowly opens. Watching the roses all unfold. Taking it with us as we go. And it's crystal clear where we go from.
can see, since this is sort of covered by the mountain, it's not getting any sun during the winter. And it is just like feet and feet of snow. So we're gonna discuss and decide if we really <laughs> wanna go down and come back up. After a brief deliberation, we've decided to go for it. It's just past noon or so here, so we got plenty of daylight. It's only about 1.2 miles down, 800 feet or so, and then back up. It'll definitely be a wet boots kind of day, but the Arizona sun is great at drying, so we're gonna get back on the trail. You can see that some people have at least attempted to come down part of the way. We'll see if the footsteps last all the way to the arch. But the snowpack is actually relatively firm. We're not falling in very deeply at the moment, which is a good sign, I would say. You can tell there's a formidable angle here, and it's a bit slippery, so we're gonna take it slow. Someone made these footprints a very long time ago, and they're sort of like frosted over, so it's extremely slippery. You can see the sledge is not one that you'd want to take a tumble down. You definitely hit a couple trees on your way. First snow in the boot, My best to make little footprints in the snow on the way down make sure it's a safe spot so to speak before I really put my weight on it it is obviously very slow going but the end of the snow is in sight again I'm sorry I'm making you do it. Huh? I'm making you do it. I mean, you obviously could turn around, but... Big obstacle on the path here. We're gonna go up and over to the right here. Oh, there's even some flowing water. Lovely. Really started yet for the season? 
And I'll hop in and skip. Some more obstacles. We just passed that little creek there, flowing quite nicely this time of year. We've made it down almost all of the elevation towards the Volti Arch. You can see the snow is still here sporadically in the shade of the mountain in front of us. We got about 0.6 and then we're going to enjoy the view and some sun and a snack and it will be well deserved. In the We've entered the Tunnel of Thorn Bushes section. Not my favorite. Nice. You can see. Oh, yeah, perfect. Can you get another point in? Because that's the arch. Lovely. There's even people up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I do remember it was sketchy, I think. There it is. I do remember. Just a short uphill, folks. Taking chances on a distant song that moves us forward. In the dark, we feel it still. City. Stories with the stars. Hello. New we get here from the stars. New we get here from the stars. I'll go anywhere with you. In the sunlight, underneath the moon. We All righty, folks. As you can see, we made it to the arch. It's only about six feet wide, so it feels a little sketchy. Looking down at the 80-foot uh, drop or so, but definitely worth a visit. Much less busy than Devil's Bridge where we were the other day. No line here. There were a few people just coming down as we were coming up though, which was unexpected. There is a separate way here. You can park sort of west of Sedona and then come up north and then cut in, but it looks like it would be at least like a 10 mile out and back. We will be heading back the way we came, of course. But first we'll do a quick stop down there in the sun. Well-deserved rest, folks. This has been a gorgeous hike so far. Standing in silence, the stars lean in. In my chest, I can feel this is where we begin. We've just come down from the arch there, very steep, back up just a touch here onto a little red rock cliff, gorgeous viewpoint here. We're just gonna enjoy our snack for another moment and the sunshine, it's glorious right now. Oh, I love Arizona. Get back to the hike in a sec. 
we have come back down from the arch there in the distance to our junction. We are going to the Sterling Pass, of course. That's the way we came. Up and over. Up and over. Wish us luck with the snow and ice. I'm going to put the phone down until we get back up to the top for safety purposes. We have come up quite a ways uphill again. At least six of the 800 feet, I would say. I've got a nice little lookout here, but you can see the path continues up along this way. Another few hundred feet before we can start heading back down for the car. Still a bit of snow we have to deal with, but should be no problem. All right, snow defeated. The uphill is done. Now we just gotta hit the downhill, about 1.4 miles, 1,000 feet down, back to the car. <laughs> All righty folks, just got back down to the car. As you can see, car's swirling past on 89A, just across from the Manzanita campground. We completed the hike successfully. Sterling Pass, 5.1 miles, just over 2,000 feet of elevation gain. The Volte Arch was quite gorgeous. It was like a nice spot in the sun. Very great for a quick photo. The snow did not slow us down too much, but uh, it definitely increased our time. If you're going to attempt this during the winter months, definitely bring crampons and poles. That will definitely make it safer. We are going to head back to our campsite now. It's about a 30 minute drive through Sedona. And then we are going to eat up and rest up for another day of hiking here in the area. If you're enjoying the content, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe down below, and we will see you in the next one.